So here's some of your codes for when you're looking for make it rain, humidity. Cloud doesn't always give away where the moisture is, and that's what Stalios was saying. In fact, the humidity, how about this, the humidity in a cloud can be lower than the air where there's no cloud. That's interesting. True. So we've got relative humidity at a specified height. So, in other words, you need to know at what height the humidity is. For example, where there's no clouds, you're pointing blind. This will tell you where your humidity is and where there's a chance of potential rain. Good one. Um, total precipita precipitable water. So, water that will turn to rain fairly quickly. And that's that one. TPW and RH. So if we go back, um, there's others here which could be interesting. Play around with it, um, like sulfates and that. Not that we're that bothered about that. But here we go, back to the, uh, the main screen. And the colours come up. That's the UK. Now the brown is actually where it's dry. And not surprising, watch what happens when you get here. Yeah, there's the brown. So that's the dry. So you can see where the humidity and the... Um, potential precipitation is there across there north so interesting how you can see what it is and along here at the bottom which we probably know so very little around here and then you can go to different heights so what is it at ground level ground level in fact just over um, that's uh, San Francisco I believe here there's a potential for rain um, nothing at all around here still and you can go higher up so slightly up which is about 1500 meters still no change in fact it's pretty well the same at all heights when you go up you need to know where it's coming from so you can block it and bring it down but it's interesting because normally you're looking for clouds that is the deception that it's not always where the clouds are but there's very little around here it's always dry but higher up there's a chance of precipitation it's when you see one coming across here that you can block it and bring it south um, let's have a look this is live this is so we're going higher up still we're not at the jet stream yet but we're getting close so still nothing you can see what's happening behind the scenes how it's made dry all the time interesting stuff um, so now we're coming to the jet stream dry all the way up isn't it funny that coming along here there's moisture and then it gets here and it's dry so higher up above San Francisco still a possibility and out of our reach well not it's in our reach but it's pointless pointing at these areas when you're going to like 50,000 feet 60,000 feet um, so that's interesting so the other one was the relative humidity um, so we start at ground level so potentially the humidity out at sea you know here but there's nothing coming in to California at all it's static and hot so at ground level which you probably already know because um, that's what you witness yourselves so at 1500 meters it's even worse let's go higher still absolutely nothing at 18,000 feet dry as a flipping dog's bone 500 Sure, there isn't much to go at. Very dry. And coming to the jet stream. Pretty tough. Yeah, potentially you're looking at the north. And Gary's got rain there as well at the moment, interestingly. Um, yes, he's actually got some rain there. So if we run this one. This is live now today. 
but isn't it interesting there's only rain there but there was precipitation and humidity shown across the whole of this area so instead of aiming there you could aim in front of that rain at the right height and block it or the humidity block the humidity this side of it and put pressure above it to force it south that would be an interesting experiment and I'd like to see what would happen if you did that <laughs>